Good afternoon everyone. Myself Saj Mohan, MM, postdoctoral researcher, UCCS, University Datwa, Lance France. Today I am going to discuss my work, Atomic Force Microscopy Study of Local Polarization Direction in Ferroretic Polyvinyldene Fluoride Trifluoroethylene Organic Films. The outline of the uh, talk includes introduction to the NanoPeak project, properties of sodium bismuth titanate, PVDF DRFP uh, materials, then coming to the experimental details, results, discussions on synthesis of lanthanum nickel oxide, BNT, PVDF DRFP thin films, and then nanoscale characterization on PVDF DRFP by LNO bilayer and PVDF DRFP per BNT bilayer and then fabrication and nanoscale analysis of the etched BNT pillars and then summary and future works. To the introduction to the NanoPIC project, this ANR sponsored NanoPIC project aims at developing the ceramic polymer nanostructured composites with uh, enhanced properties for the PMT uh, applications. The challenging part of the pro uh, project is the control of uh, micro and nanostructuring of the ceramic, grafting of the polymer into the ceramic material, and then local piezoelectric characterization of these composites. The schematic shows the ceramic polymer and nanostructured composites with the ceramic pillars embedded in the uh, polymer matrix. And uh, the schematic shows also the AFM probe used for probing the piece of local piezoelectric measurement, which is the aim of the research. We use here the lead free piezoelectric uh, material NBT and the highly electroactive native polymer PVDF TRP for synthesis of these nanostructured composites. Sodium bismuth titanate. Introduced by the Smolensky in 1961, recently studied well for its room temperature ferroelectric properties. The room temperature crystal structure is a rhombohedral structure with R3C distortion, and the ferroelectric order is driven by the bismuth driven uh, titanium distortion. The schematic shows the structure of uh, NBT crystal with uh, sodium and bismuth. Uh, occupying the corner of the crystal and titanium occupying the uh, octahedral void by the uh, oxygen. It exhibits good piezoelectric characteristics and the Curie temperature is around 320 degrees Celsius, which is good for using it for the uh, room temperature application. Introduction to the copolymer PVDF TRFE. Out of the five different different crystal conformation of PVDF molecule when added with the 20 to 60 percentage of TRFE the molecular chains form all trans TTTT conformations without any mechanical structuring or electric pull. Uh, the Curie temperature of the PVDF TRFE with the addition of the TRFE molecule ranges from 137 degree Celsius to 90 degree Celsius. With the addition of 20% of TRFE, uh, it will have a Curie temperature of 134 degrees Celsius, which is above the good room temperature. It has also high remanent polarization and uh, comparatively good piezoelectric coefficient, high thermal stability and energy tra uh, transfer as well. This schematic uh, shows uh, the all trans conformation of the PVDF TRFE molecule. Coming to the experimental details, results and descriptions. Synthesis of uh, LNO layer as a substrate. We use RF magneton substrate deposition method to fabricate 200 nanometer of uh, LNO on top of the SiO2 SA substrate. Um, the XRD analysis shows 001 oriented growth without any impurity phase. Uh, the topography is shown here. Uh, with an RMS roughness of around 3.3 .3 nanometer. Similarly, we fabricated BNT uh, on top of the LNO SAO2 SA substrate using the RF magnetron spectrum method. Uh, the XRD uh, analysis shows the 001 oriented of the uh, BNT uh, layer on top of the 001 oriented LNO layer. Uh, also without any impurity phase. 
the AFN topography is uh, presented here uh, with an RMS roughness of around 5.8 nanometer. PFM domain imaging of the BMT thin films. Uh, you know, the picture shows the topography corresponding out of plane amplitude and out of plane phase of the PFM domain imaging uh, on top of the BNT thin films. Here we can see the most of the grains are a single domain with uniform polarization. Also, some domains extend towards the adjacent grains. After uh, evidencing that a significant piezo response is on the BNT thin films, mm -hmm. we proceed further for the deposition of PVDF TRFE on top of the LNO and BNT substrate. We use uh, 30 mg per milliliter concentration of PVDF TRFE in acetone for the spin coating and after the spin coating we uh, anneal the sample at 180 degrees Celsius for 3 hours to form a continuous smooth film of thickness uh, 300 nanometer. The XRD analysis shows uh, the polar beta phase formation with the 200100 peak at uh, 20.26 to theta position. After confirming the orthorhombic beta phase polymer is formed on top of the LNO and BNT substrate, we proceed further for the nanoscale analysis using uh, AFM. AFM topography of the PVDF TRFE layer grown on LNO substrate is shown here. We see that uh, the spirulatic growth of uh, PVDF TRFE is formed with an average diameter of 15 to 20 micrometer in, in the direction parallel to the substrate. The RMS roughness of uh, 60 into 60 micrometer scan area is around 11 nanometer. We then measured the PFM domain imaging of uh, PVDF TRFE on uh, LNO layer. The top uh, three images represent the morphology, PFM amplitude, and outer plane PFM phase of uh, scan area of 10 by 10 micrometer square, and uh, below that of uh, 5 by 5 micrometer square. We see significant phase response is evidenced in the both the phase and amplitude response in the, uh, the PVDF TRFE on uh, LNO layer. Here shows the topography of the PVDF TRFE uh, grown on BNT layer. We see that the growth of spirulite in the both the parallel and the perpendicular directions in case of PVDF TRFE on top of the BNT layer. The, because of this growth of perpendicular and parallel direction, the RMS reference is around 41 nanometer for the scan size of 16 to 60 micrometer square area. And then we recorded the PFN domain imaging of the PVDF TRFE layer on a BNT layer. Uh, similarly, we present here the morphology, out of plane amplitude and out of plane phase images of uh, a scan area of 10 by 10 micrometer square and 5 by 5 micrometer square. Uh, this is uh, recorded to view that the different response is evident from the different regions, including the parallel and perpendicular uh, lambda growth. We also, uh, after confirming the significant piece of response from the crystalline region, we proceed next to, uh, to analyze the morphological concentration of PVDF TRFE 8020 growth on the, on the substrate. We see on uh, one uh, substrate we have the parallel growth of uh, lambda uh, in the, in the spirulite uh, is happening. In the other case, on BNT, we have both the perpendicular direction and parallel directions. Uh, here, we observe the change in the morphology is arised from the different surface energy, uh, species affinity at the interface, and also the possible interaction of the periodic domains between the substrate and the PVDF TRFE layer. We then measured the piezo loops uh, with uh, the AF PFM spectroscopy mode of the AFM. A statistical study of the 30 measurement were taken from both the samples show a comparatively high D33 value of uh, 25.4 picometer per volt uh, of, uh, on the PVDF TRFE grown on BNT layer and 14.5 picometer per volt on PVDF TRFE grown on LNO sample. Uh, the average coercive field varies uh, 27 volt and 35 volt respectively. 
The change in the beta 3 is due to the change in the direction of the polar axis of the PVDF DRFP on the both the samples. Then coming to the fabrication and a nanoscale analysis of the etched BNT pillars. As a continuation to the project, uh, the final uh, prototype is schematically shown here. We have the proposal of two different sized uh, pillars of the ceramic. One is uh, in the micro range and one is in the nano range. The micro scale pillars are uh, fabricated using the wet chemical etching method and the nano scale pillars are using the focused I and B method. The fabrication of a BNT nano pillar using focused I and B etching method. Here we use the FAB method to create the patterns as shown in the schematics. A 200 nanometer depth feature is maintained in the etched zone uh, of the BNT layer. Uh, the different parameter uses uh, for the uh, etching is uh, shown here. The angle, angle of incidence is 90 degree and the current density is uh, 0.3 milliamps per centimeter square. Here we represent the local piece of behavior of the etched and non-etched regions of the BNT film. The surface morphology is shown here in the 2D mode and 3D mode here. Uh, to check the possibility of amorphization of the BNT while doing the FAB etching is uh, analyzed. Uh, we measured the visual loops from the non-etched region and the etched region also. We see that uh, the electrochemical, uh, electromechanical activity of the BNT is preserved after the etching process. Also, we observed a 30 percentage decrease in the piezo response in the etched region after uh, the FAB etching. Coming to the fabrication of the micro pillars using the wet etch, uh, chemical etching method. Uh, here we use uh, the HF and H4F uh, uh, solution for the etching. Uh, the percentage is shown here. We propose the two different uh, sized pillars. One is 7 to 8 micron uh, diameter pillar and one is a 50 micron diameter pillar. Uh, after confirming the features are well preserved after the wet chemical etching. The nanoscale piezoelectric properties of the BNT structures are analyzed using the PFM mode of uh, atomic force microscopy. The schematic shows the 400 nanometer BNT layer on the LANO uh, CO2 assay substrate. The morphology is represented here. We observed a significant piezo response in the BNT film with an average D33 value of uh, 38 picometer per volt. Uh, also, after etching on the 50 micron BNT pillars, uh, on the middle of the uh, pillar we see the uh, similar D33 value of 40 picometer per volt, but on the edges of the pillar we see a diminished uh, D33 value of 26 picometer per volt. For the 7 to 8 micron BNT pillars, we see that at the middle of the pillar, we have an increased D33 value of uh, 50 picometer per volt. Uh, similarly, at the edges, the values are diminished. Uh, the change in D33 value observed in the BNT pillar, that is the higher D33 value on the 7 to 8 micron BNT pillar is due to the fact that there is a decrease in the substrate clamping is uh, happening after the etching. Also at the edges, the de de degradation of the piezoelectric property may be due to the degradation of the phase of the film. In summary, we analyze the local morphological and electromechanical property changes of the PVDF TRFE when deposited on the LNO and BNT layer. Also, when the size of the BNT island decreases, the piezo response increases notably, uh, which is due to the decrease in the clamping effects. And the future works are the fabrication of micro and nanostructured BNT with the PVDF TRFE composite, AFM and PFM analysis of this composite, macroscopic D3 measurements and evaluation of the PMA2 devices. And I like to thank all the collaborating research laboratories. Also, thank you very much for your patience.